my style, my talent, and my self-care. That's my revolution. My progression, my drive, and my freedom. That's my revolution. Here are six tips to join the 4C revolution. A part of joining the revolution is embracing your uniqueness, and I firmly believe that a part of that is embracing your style. For me, that's a part of my revolution, and it's not just like my clothes, but it's also my hair, it's my accessories that I experiment with, it's the decades that I get inspiration from. So lately it's been like the 70s. I'm really into disco and Donna Summer and Diana Ross and gold. And afros and stuff like that yes so that really like inspires me for my style um i would say for me i would say a tip would be my drive if i feel good if i look good if i'm confident in what i'm doing i'm gonna be driven to complete whatever it is so if i feel like um, i have an important task coming up and you know to tie back with your style if i dress nice and i walk into a building i'm gonna say whatever it is yes yeah. like you look good you literally <laughs> feel good honestly and it like helps you with my next point which is your talent which mm. is like that's something that's natural but when you combine that with also like feeling good about yourself it's like when magic happens and that's when things are simple and effortless and it looks like you don't really have to try too hard and a part of your talent is like really honing in on that and nurturing it mm -hmm. so it's like always trying to learn new things mm -hmm. about whatever your talent is for me I feel like I'm actually talented at a few things mm -hmm. but one of my biggest talents that I've been working toward is modeling and um I just really try to uh, take a lot of posing classes I watch a lot of YouTube videos about just like how to how to get better with using your hands mm -hmm. and different facial expressions mm -hmm. and things like that so I think that's really important for um, you know just kind of always making sure that your talent is just always mm -hmm. elevating <laughs> so elevating I would say my next step would be progression mm -hmm. pay attention to your progress pay mm -hmm. attention to your journey like you said, um, nurture your talent and you want to ba basically just look at everything that you do over the time mm -hmm. and just fall back on that. Stay close to yourself and, you know, like stay humble to where you come from, mm -hmm. but then also give thanks and show that you're grateful for how far you have come. Because mm -hmm. it's important because when you look back, you're like, ooh. But you see where you are now, you're like, okay, I needed to be here mm -hmm. or there so I could be here. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like, it's all in the journey and it makes sense. And you have to celebrate those small always. wins always. always. They feel better. Yes, <laughs> honestly. And I think that I, that goes into my last point, which is self-care. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a part of it, just like not being so hard on yourself all the time. And I think it's really easy. <laughs> it's so easy for us to like, forget about all of the things that we do because we just get so caught up on like these big goals that we just we just completely forget that oh i also accomplished this little baby step like right. yeah it was a baby step but it's still a step forward nonetheless right. so a part of that self-care is just really like mm -hmm. celebrating yourself no matter what it is and just always making sure you're taking care of yourself putting yourself first taking time for yourself, especially if you're like me and you're single, and you know, <laughs> you, you really gotta take extra time to just, you know, celebrate yourself and, and date yourself and exactly. things like that. So exactly. I think that's important. So my last tip for you guys is gonna be my freedom. Mm -hmm. So take that time that she was talking about, that self-care time, and be free with it. Mm -hmm. Literally just, do whatever you want to do with your time. Follow the law. <laughs> That's most important. <laughs> Take care of yourself, but do it at your own risk. Do it at your own will. Do it on your own time, you know. Go to work, make that money. But then when you get off, love on yourself. Mm -hmm. um, 
Make sure that you're paying attention to the times when you're sad. Make sure that you're paying attention to the times that you're happy so you can know the difference between the two. Mm-hmm. Um, you have that freedom to do it and you know you have unlimited resources on how you can invest in yourself and how you can just, I don't know, just give freely to yourself. Mm-hmm. If you're giving freely to yourself, it's bound that you can give so freely to others. Right. And I think like a lot of people, they kind of um, have an issue with allowing themselves to be free with how they feel. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so important. And I think that's also a a part of self-care is like, you know, you don't always have good days. Some days you feel a little bit down and that's okay. It, but I don't think you have to beat yourself up for not feeling 100% that day. Right. Like, it's important to just acknowledge it. Be like, okay, I'm not feeling my best today, so I acknowledge that. But don't allow yourself to be paralyzed by mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, freedom and self-care, it just really helps to elevate your drive and your talent and helps you with that progression it helps you to really get your style together and with all of those six things they can really help you to create your own revolution so go out there and be great yes. <laughs>